In this video, I'm gonna highlight for you the top 10 best features available to you if you get yourself a keyboard case, a stylus for your Apple iPad. And Logitech have provided the combo touch for the 10th gen iPad and the crayon, and they are the official sponsor for this iPad tips and tricks video. So the number one best thing about having a keyboard with a trackpad is the fact that you can avoid what many tech fans consider to be an unsolvable riddle, fingerprint smudges. and it could save you money on screen wipes. But arguably, more importantly, you'll unlock the trackpad gestures. Here are some of the most useful ones that you need to know. So the first most useful one is of course the two finger swipe. So two fingers on a website, you can swipe and scroll all the way down very quickly and scroll all the way back up very quickly without having to touch the screen. And the next most useful gesture on the trackpad on an iPad is the pinch to zoom. So if your eyes aren't as good as they used to be and you need to zoom in and zoom out at times, it's very easy to do just to pinch outwards to zoom in and a pinch inwards to zoom back. Now here's a very quick way to get back to the home screen no matter where you are on your iPad. It's literally just three finger swipe upwards and that brings you back to your home screen. And when you're back on your home screen, a two finger swipe, left or right, you can swipe through the pages that you have set up on your iPad. And here is another two finger gesture. If you swipe down anywhere on any of your home screens, you get the search bar pop up. This allows you to search your entire iPad for whatever you're looking for, whether it's a photo, an app, a document, it will find it for you just by typing it in here. And you can also open Siri from here too. And another gesture that not everybody knows about when it comes to the trackpad on an iPad is the four finger tap and hold. It opens up all your backgrounding apps. It is a little bit tricky to do though, and there is another way to do it, which is slightly easier. And that is the three finger method where you swipe up and hold. And if you wanna quickly cycle through the apps without actually opening up the backgrounding like we just did, you can use three fingers to swipe left or right. Genshin Impact. Notes, website. So this is a handy feature when it comes to productivity, but it's also very useful for general web browsing. It's what Apple call the secondary click. If you're a Windows user, you'll know this as the right click on a mouse. And to do this on the iPad with the trackpad, it's simply just a two finger tap and hold. So for example, if you wanna bring up a secondary menu on a link within a website, all you do is push the two fingers down and there we go, we've got our secondary menu pop up. Now you can do the same thing by touching the screen, but it takes longer. And if you do this, you're gonna leave some fingerprints. And you can probably tell the fingerprint problem is a bit of a touchy subject for us tech content creators. And let me know in the comments, do fingerprints on your displays bother you? An instant win that the Logitech Combo Touch delivers is the dedicated row of iPad iOS shortcut keys right at the top here. The first one is a home button. So no matter where you are, you don't even have to use the gestures. It will bring you back to your home screen. The second and third control the display brightness. So you can turn the brightness all the way down and all the way up again, without having to go into your settings, without having to touch the screen. There is a dedicated Siri key. Then if you're on a website and you want to use the on-screen keyboard, that's what this is for. And then we're gonna skip this key for now because we're gonna come back to that in a moment. Then we have the all important backlighting on the keyboard. You can turn the backlight all the way off and you can turn it all the way up. And then these last six are all media control keys which work on websites as well. Now coming back to that key that I skipped over is the screenshot key. So tapping that on any screen will capture that screen. But this takes me nicely on to the next tip. And this brings the Logitech Crayon into play. And a couple of things that I like about the design here on the Logitech Crayon is the fact that it does have an on off switch. It also has LEDs to represent how much battery is left in the Crayon. And just like the iPad 10th gen, it does charge via USB-C. So that means you don't have to carry any extra dongles or cables. It also has this really nice satin soft touch finish to it. And the shape is a rounded rectangle, which makes it extremely comfortable to hold. And because it's got flat edges, when you put it down on a desk, it's not gonna roll around like a regular pencil would. But here's what I wanted to show you guys. When you capture a screenshot using the button here, if you tap the screenshot there, you can actually bring up the pen tools. If they're not already open, you can open them here by tapping this icon at the top. And this can be great fun to play around with, but it also can be a productivity tool. For example, if you visually want to communicate something that needs to be corrected on a website or a document, you can use the crayon to mark up whatever you've screenshotted. Or you could just do something silly like I'm about to and draw a Father Christmas hat 
So here's a couple of tips for using the crayon when it comes to marking things up. For example, if you want to circle something, what you might end up doing is drawing a really bad circle. But if you keep the stylus pushed down, it corrects the circle for you and smooths out the lines as best as it can. And check out this tool here. This is the ruler tool. So that brings up a ruler on the screen and you will need to use your fingers to adjust this. But let's say you want to underline things perfectly. If you bring it just where you want it to be and you use the pen tool, you can actually draw along the edge of the ruler so you get a perfect line and you can actually even change the angle of the ruler as well if you want to. So you can actually draw perfectly straight lines at the perfect angle using the ruler tool. Okay, back to the Combo Touch keyboard case. They call it Combo because it's in two parts. And one huge advantage here over some other keyboard cases is that you can actually detach the keyboard very easily, but still have the kickstand part of the case attached. And do you realize what this means? It means you can kick back and relax and watch a movie comfortably when you're on a train or a plane. And the great thing about the kickstand is it's very adjustable and at its smallest, the footprint is very narrow. And this means that hopefully you'll still have some table space left in front of you for some snacks and a drink. And from a productivity standpoint, this kickstand feature could also be great for small presentations in small groups where you don't need a big screen. And for me personally, one of the great use cases for this in this form factor here without the keyboard is using this connected to my Apple Mac laptop as a second screen with the Apple Sidecar feature. And to set this up, all you're gonna need is a compatible USB-C cable connected from the iPad to your Apple Mac. Then on your Apple Mac, you need to go to your system settings, then go to displays. And then here, there's a little plus. If you hit that, you'll see iPad is available. And now, thanks to the Logitech Combo Touch kickstand, I can set this up perfectly as a second screen for when I'm editing videos, I can put my timeline over there or my editing effects over there and do all of the main editing here on the bigger screen. Number six, so one of the most important aspects and often the number one reason for buying any case for any device is protection because you wanna keep your expensive Apple device safe. And the great thing about the Logitech Combo Touch is the fact that when the keyboard is attached, your tablet is fully protected on all sides. The Combo Touch wraps all of the edges with a hard wearing shock resistant rubber bumper. The rear camera sits below the cutout so it won't scratch and scrape on surfaces. In fact, the only part of the device that's exposed is the Touch ID sensor. But again, that's recessed in there and the bumper will protect it from touching any surfaces unless you're incredibly unlucky and it lands on a stone that just manages to get in that gap. And I think there's a good chance I just jinxed myself. And one important feature that stands out when you compare this to other keyboard cases is the fact that when you do detach the keyboard itself, the tablet still remains in the bumper case and the back of the device is still safe. With some keyboard cases, when you detach the keyboard, you actually detach the case entirely. So the iPad is completely unprotected at that point. So this one's kind of self-explanatory and probably a very good reason why you'd want to buy something like this from Logitech. It is of course the typing experience. On-screen keyboards on phones are okay, but on a tablet, they're a bit rubbish. Imagine writing an entire essay on the on-screen keyboard. Think of the fingerprint situation. That would be enough to turn almost anyone to the dark side. Now, in my opinion, this keyboard is excellent. The keys are very tactile, very clicky. They don't feel spongy and they have a respectable amount of travel to them considering how thin the keyboard is itself. They also have that really nice backlighting feature for when you're working in those lower light conditions. And something that I think is really underrated when it comes to a keyboard on a tablet is keyboard shortcuts. And even I myself neglect a lot of keyboard shortcuts. So do share your favorite iPad keyboard shortcuts in the comments. But here are my three most used ones. With the text highlighted, if you hold down Command and C, that copies the text. Then if you tap Command V, that pastes the text as many times as you like. Now, if you want to cut text, it's Command and X. And then here's a fourth bonus one, which I use all the time, and that is Command and A to select everything. Again, from here, we can Command X to cut, Command V to paste, Command C to copy, Command V, and we can paste as much as we want 
using those keyboard shortcuts. But like I said before, there are so many more of these shortcuts. If you wanna learn about them, just search for Apple keyboard shortcuts for iPad, and you might actually be surprised at how many of them there actually are. Okay, let's go back to the Logitech Crayon and a set of productivity tools that you can unlock with a stylus like this. It's the Apple Scribble functionality. So here's some quick functionality tools that you can use with the stylus on the Notes app. So you can bring up all of the pen tools like before, but let's say you just wanna correct a word. Let's say this one here, we just double tap any word and it will highlight it. Now let's say we wanna highlight a series of words, three or four, there's an easy way to do this as well. We can literally just draw a line through those words and it highlights all of those words. So let's do that again, long line through all of this and it highlights all of those words. Or let's say we wanna highlight an entire paragraph of text. We can do that very quickly as well by triple tapping any word in that paragraph. Or let's say you've spotted a mistake somewhere in your text where two words are joined together that shouldn't be, you can actually add a space just by drawing a line in between those two words, it separates them. Or if there's a major mistake and you wanna get rid of some of the text, you can do that very easily as well, literally just by scribbling out the mistake. And something else that's very useful when you have a pen is creating a signature. So when you get digital documents and you need to sign them, if you open up the pen tool here, go to this icon here, you can actually create a signature which you can then paste digitally into contracts and stuff like that as and when you need to. And it will be a proper handwritten version of your signature as well because you use the Logitech Crayon to create it. So I do believe that makes this a very handy tool. So when you work hard, you earn the right to play hard. And most pro gamers know that mouse and keyboard quite often is an advantage over regular controllers. And guess what? There are a bunch of games on iOS that support keyboard and mouse, particularly strategy games. And if you're more of a controller player, detach the keyboard, grab yourself an Xbox One controller, and thanks to the kickstand, you've now got yourself a portable games console. And here are some more Logitech Crayon tips. If you go into the settings on your device, Scroll down to the Apple Pencil section, and here, just make sure your scribble is on, because if it isn't, the previous tip wouldn't have worked. Take a look at this, the left corner swipe and the right corner swipe. These are pencil exclusive gestures. And the Logitech Crayon does have that Apple Pencil technology built in. So if we swipe from the bottom right corner up, you'll see we get a quick note. And here's one I created earlier. The little pen icon here brings up all of the pen tools just like before and you already know how to use those. Now if we swipe inwards from the left corner, we take a screenshot and again we get the pen tools and this is just another method of capturing a screenshot without having to touch the screen, without having to touch the buttons, without having to create fingerprints. And you already know how I feel about fingerprints. And here's one last power tip when it comes to using the Logitech Crayon on a daily basis with your iPad and it's this tool here. So this enabled the pen tool first and this one here with the letter A on it, that's your handwriting to text conversion tool. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah. <laughs> now listen here, if you're an Apple user and you own an iPhone or an Apple Watch or an Apple Mac and you want to uncover more hidden tips and tricks for those devices, I've handpicked some videos for you guys to check out. The thumbnails are on screen right now. Go check them out. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.